What you got tonight, Clayton? Man, I got some fine sheep in this trailer. Oh, what, what you got? Oh, that's a, like a, that's a strange looking uh, ram you got that's right a, there. That's a, that's a four horn Jacobs ram. That's a, and what's this thing over here? You got a, you got a, you got a goat in here? Yes, sir, I got a goat. You got, uh, you got I got one. a goat, and I got a sheep, and I got another another little sheep over there. He's he's all right. He doesn't have any broke horns. This one here, he got a broke tip on his horn, but a good taxidermist take care of him. If he had two good horns, he'd probably be worth seven, eight hundred, a thousand dollars. All right. Well, let's go on over here, and I'll show you what we can do. Oh, okay. Let's Plus, go I still owe you for some of those cows you brought the other day. Oh, well, that's good. We'll settle up on those yeah, two. That'd we, be we good. We get everything squared up here. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Well, this is what I got based on our phone call the other day. Okay. What you got? Well, I got some really nice guns here. Let me tell you a little. Talk little to me. This here is over and under. Okay. All right. This this is silver etching. Yes, sir. This gun is worth about a thousand dollars. All right. Okay. It's uh hardly been shot. It's in mint condition. This is so pretty you might not want to even shoot it. That's right. That's very nice. So this is a gun that that I can trade with you. Yeah. And this, what do we got there? Is that 357? No, it's a 44 mag. 44 West, mag. Yep, 44 mag, Western style, and uh, comes with a holster. Yes, sir. And this is a uh, a Ruger. Ooh, that's a nice gun. I could use something like that. Yeah. You got those coyotes always out there trying to kill your sheep. Oh yeah, dogs too. <laughs> And then if you need... Oh, I might need that. With a scope on it? Yeah. This, this is a, I might get out here and look. This is you know. a 44 mag with a scope. Oh, holy moly. That's nice. All right. Now, this piece over That's here, nice. I'll trade two cows for this one. This is a 50-year-old. This is the most expensive gun I own right here. Really? Uh, this is... Uh, you can see the case. This is a Browning. This is a antique. The value on this. And uh, has two barrels. This gun's worth twenty. It was appraised uh, recently at twenty-two hundred dollars with double barrels. Flawless condition. Look at that stock. Ooh, mercy. So you got four sheep. four sheep. I still owe you on two cows. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, and then uh, you said that you was interested in some ammo. I got a box of plenty, plenty of ammo here. You got that. And uh, you know, then we got some silver here. That uh, yeah. There's there's uh, there's about four hundred dollars worth of silver right there. Okay. Okay. So you tell me what you want, and we'll square up. Well, let's see. We got two cows, and we got some sheep. We got some sheep. We got four sheep. So we got about uh, got about four thousand dollars worth. Mm -hmm. yeah, sounds about right. About right. That's about right. I can go with that. Okay. And what'd you say this was? What you? This is this is twenty two hundred. Let's just call it two thousand on this guy. All right, two thousand. All right. Now how about this thing here that I can shoot some dogs that, that's killing my sheep okay, with, and coyotes? How much is this thing worth? Well, with the scope, seven fifty on that piece. All right, that's twenty-seven fifty. How many? How much silver you got here? We've got uh, about just four. About four hundred dollars worth. Four hundred dollars. All right, we take all the silver and the pistol and that one there and throw in a couple of boxes of ammo. How about that? Got a deal. So, right. You know, uh, Clayton, I met you about 11 years ago when That's I came right. out here. That's right. And uh, I'll never remember the first time I walked into your store and you asked me how I wanted to pay for the, the bait that I was buying, the, the corn. And uh, I, I told you, you said, well, I'm going to pay you cash. And you looked at me and you said, I don't take cash. And I just laughed. And I didn't know what you meant by that. He said, I don't take cash. I says, well, what do you want, a chicken? And you said, well, that might do me better than cash. That's right. I, what, and, do we, what, do we, what do we wind up? Didn't we? Didn't you wind up bringing me a cow or something besides a chicken? Yeah, I did. I, I, I think up, you did. I brought you I a think cow. You, I think you brought me my first Jersey cow. I did. You yeah. sure did. So that... still got that Jersey cow too. Would you believe that? <laughs> yeah, and I know you can try to trade her back to me now that she's old and bony. <laughs> well, no, I still use her. You know, I still got calves sucking that cow. You know, I still milk that cow, and I get a little. You would not believe this, but I, we milk that cow, and we uh, I take the milk to the house, and, and my wife she makes some butter with it, with get some you know, take the cream off the milk, and we get butter, and we drink the milk. That's good stuff. It sure is. That is good stuff. So you know, it, it, it worked out good for both of us. Well, you know, one thing that uh, that you brought me brought to my mind, you know, I was 
I've always been around the country, but you know, I was raised in the city for the best part. Yeah. And uh, it, you, you were the first person I really met out here in the country. That's you, true. You know, That's and true. and your that is true. your That's your true. attitude about money uh, and the paper dollar. And the first time I met you, you brought it up in a roundabout way, and then we discussed it later. And it really made me realize that there's a lot of people out there that realize what's going on with the American dollar that back you know, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, when that dollar would buy a dollar's worth of goods and now it'll buy two or three cents worth of goods. That's right. And people that have been rat holing money, families, old families that have stacked cash, now it's worth pennies on a dollar. That's right. But if you have this stuff right here. It's gonna be, to, it's, 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 it's value. It, it, it doesn't lose its value. Like this gun 50 years ago probably cost $150. That's right. And today right. It, it's $2,200 to buy right. this gun. That's right, absolutely. So, Good thing your money wasn't your value wasn't in that paper money, but That's it was right. in hard That's hard right. assets. No, it, yeah. and, it, and it's and it's so uh, it's coming more and more every day. And one day we're every gonna day. wake up. One day you're gonna wake up, and all this money that we have out here in the bank, these people has got all this paper money in the bank. It ain't gonna be worth doodly squat. That's right, and it's not gonna. End and that is the truth. I have told my wife this for. The last 20 years, we've been talking about this. We've been married for 32, 33 years. And I tell her about these things because I've had different visions and stuff through the years and see different things that most ordinary people don't see and they never heard of and they wouldn't believe. But I can feel it. It's coming. You can feel it in the air. You, I can feel it. I, I can feel it. It's coming. It's coming. And uh, i tell you what. I do not want to be in these real young people's shoes this day and time. I'm glad I'm as old as I am because the young kids that's coming up this day and time, you ask them where a steak comes from or you ask them where a chicken comes from, H-E-B. <laughs> the grocery store. Grocery store, H-E-B. That's it. They do not want to know where it comes from. They do not want to know where it comes from. Long as they can go in the house and play their video games and all of this stuff and that stuff, that's all they're interested in. But there is getting to be less and less of people like myself to raise cattle, to raise chickens, raise hogs, raise this stuff. There's less of us. And there's a lot of people that can't stomach the sight of an animal being slaughtered, not realizing you have to raise it, you have to slaughter it before you can eat it. And they don't they have that. gotten too far away from the Bible. It's all in the Bible. God put this stuff on this earth for us to eat. That's right. That's the only reason it's here. That's the only reason it's here. That's it. I need to get my guns and go home. Well, I don't want you, you to know. think that I brought you out here under the cover of dark so I could I could trade some old no, scratch. No, I know. Some, no, some no. This, these are some nice. This some nice guns. This is <laughs> people. Look, this is this is the real stuff here. This is this is the real stuff. That's the real silver. Right this is the real stuff. You know, you don't go down to any store around here and get this anymore that's it you don't this is this is the real stuff and you know what if the american dollar ever does collapse people will take that absolutely. anywhere absolutely so all right clay okay well, round me up some more livestock come see me i will all right, get out, go.